What you see before you is a slightly subdued Mr. Jackrow. Uh, Mr. Jackrow's been in to the dentist, been getting having toothache for a while. I had a dodgy wisdom tooth, and uh, it was playing up a little bit over the last few months, and then pain would go away. But every so often, it was getting gradually worse and worse. The dentist was aware of it, and he said. Um, because the roots are so badly twisted, uh, and because it's a wisdom tooth, I had to go to the anaesthetic clinic. So uh, I was due to go there in December, but anyway, uh, things just progressed rapidly, and I ran them up and I had to go a bit earlier. So I've just been to the anaesthetic clinic yesterday, and they uh, did what they had to do, took the tooth out, and uh, obviously, beginning to swell up a bit round here now, a bit sore, uh, so I'm taking it an easy day today. But uh, I thought I'd show you a couple of knives I finished this week and a few changes to, the, to a design of my dangler that I'd done also, new, it's like new design to the fire steel handle. Uh, first of all, this is Ed's knife. Ed's a good friend of mine. And uh, he wanted an updated classic. So uh, I built you this, Ed. So first of all, we'll look at the, uh, the updated dangler system. Maybe it's good to go back in time to the old dangler. This is my own personal dangler. Uh, so the difference is with the new dangler. The new dangler is bottom opening, whereas the old dangler is top opening. And the um, the old dangler, if you had the two pops come undone, there's a possibility your knife could fall out. Also. Uh, you had to take your belt off to position the dangler or place dangler onto your, onto your um, belt. It's still a good system though, and a lot of other knife makers use danglers like that. But I, I'm always continually looking at ways to improve design. So I've seen a few people, I think my friend John Wellings uses this type of dangler design as well. With this type of dangler design, I'll stand up and show you. Hope you can see. Lower the camera down. This type of dangler design. You can undo the dangler. And you've got a third press stud there, which secures the uh, dangler to the sheath so you can totally remove the dangler from the sheath and you're left with that so you can put the dangler back together again, pop it back together and what happens now this is sized to fit around a two inch belt so up to two inch belt, so you can fit it on, fold it round, press it down. So that's now secured on your belt. But the good thing with it is that if these press studs come undone, the sheath doesn't fall off the belt. It will eventually of course. But often times you've got clothing in the way, but it's a lot more difficult for it to fall off the belt. So that's the new, the new dangler design that I've done. Before I show you the knife, I'll show you the, uh, the, the new fire steel design that I've just finished as well.
this is a fire steel that I've built for uh, James, James Mears. Not Ray Mears, James Mears. It's just a simple trumpet design. I think it's quite elegant actually. I like that design. Simple and elegant. I'll show you James's knife in a minute as well. So anyway, back to Ed's knife. There it is, Ed, new dangler. You've got my last, one of my old fire steels. And you have the last piece of uh, oak, which my friend Graham, Uncle G, sent me. Incidentally, uh, I'll put a link in the description box to Uncle G's channel, because he's got some fantastic, uh, he's got a fantastic tutorial video on how to make wooden beads. It's well worth a watch, well worth subscribing to. And, uh, he sent he sent me something, um, but I was out when it was delivered, or something was delivered. It may have been from Uncle G, but uh, I, I can't go and collect it till tomorrow, so I'm not supposed to drive for another 24 hours, as I'm under the influence. Um, so anyway, back to Ed's knife, right hand sheath with green thread, updated dangler system, with a logo on the back logo on the sheath fire steel the knife itself moving a bit closer the knife itself is uh, three mil thick I don't know if this light is showing it up but there are two liners in there, there's a green, a thin green liner and a, and a blue liner uh, and I think uh, that sort of denotes uh, the history of uh, what Ed's been up to in his life. So you can see the internal curves and you can see our glass figure, but the wood is stunning wood. It's what uh, Uncle G sent. I stabilised it. There's a few little cracks in there, which you often get with uh, highly figured woods, but it's... Uh, not going to affect the performance of the handle at all. Mosaic pins. Apex pommel. Don't know how you can see that apex on that pommel. Uh, I don't know if the two curved liners are showing up or not very well. So that's for Ed. I think you'll, I think that'll work very well for you, Ed. Now on to um, James Mears. James ordered two knives from me, both left-handed, left-handed sheaths. So James has got a left-handed sheath. With the updated dangler system, with the latest uh, fire steel loop. <coughs> this is in 4 mil with stabilised oak. Incidentally, um, Ed's knife is also stabilised oak. I think I said that. Uh, this is 4 mil straight tang. Mosaic pins, black liners, again with a mildly apex pommel. Nice look at the internal curves. Look at the blade. So it's very nice. Hope you like that, James. Bit of uh, polish there on the bit of polish on the back there. I got rid of that. There you go. And the left-handed sheath. But not only did he want a uh, classic, he also wanted a wasp. 
So, uh, sorry, a wisp. So I've done a little wisp in, in the, fir the first time I've done it in this type of sheaf as well. So this is an adaption of the um, the wasp sheaf, although it's a slightly smaller than the wasp sheaf. You've got the two holes there to allow it to to hang. And um, this is also handed left hand uh, to make extraction with the left hand easy because I'd normally have it that way round for a right handed extraction. Uh, but I've put the logo on that side and the popper on that side so the left handed extraction come out and then back in again and it's nice snug fit in there. Uh, so quite pleased with that. And there's a little wisp. So that's it, uh, that, those are your knife builds James. So uh, with that I'm going to tie this video up, we're not going to do much today, just have an easy day I think. A bit sore, it's beginning to swell up a little bit around here, they said that after two or three days it will swell up and then it will go, but then it will start to go down, so just going to take it easy, watch a bit of YouTube, maybe go for a gentle walk this afternoon and uh, just uh, just relax I think. So thanks for watching everybody, check out Uncle G's YouTube channel and uh, a new video no doubt uh, in, in, in a few days. Bye for now.